Bear, you found your way to story time with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and our friend Bear here has a question for you. Has anyone played an April Fool's Day trick on you? Yes. <laughs> Did you find your socks sewn together so you couldn't put them on? Not yet. <laughs> Well, let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what crazy tricks this family plays on poor grandpa. Which trick will work the best? April Foolishness by Teresa Bateman. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what Grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned, for the grandkids had come for a stay. And wouldn't you know it, they picked the right day. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. Imagine, said Grandpa. Good gracious. Alas. Then he poured some milk in a tall, frosty glass. Grandpa! Oh, Grandpa, the chickens are out. They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. Imagine, said Grandpa. Amazing. Oh my, as he popped some eggs into the skillet to fry. Grandpa! Oh, Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. There, in the tomatoes. Oh, hurry, don't wait. Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge and he got out the bacon. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the goats are all freed. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese that he bought from the dairy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. I heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. Imagine, said Grandpa. I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, oh, why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you'd look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread and he popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. Then Grandma appeared. What a hullabaloo! Who's causing this noise? The grandkids or you? It's nothing, said Grandpa. Ignore them, I say. They're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandma, you'll find to your sorrow, it's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Grandma just smiled as she pulled up a stool. She nibbled his toast and she called, April Fool! <laughs> well, did Grandma suspect Grandma? No. <laughs> Bear says watch out though, because someone froze his honey and said, April Fool! Hmm. We hope you come back soon for more Foolish Adventures. Bye for now.